one of the best restaurants in Houston. Classical, gastronomic, French, eclectic. We offer something very, very special. No other place can show 28 seats open kitchen concept. This is where the show is, this is where the theater is, to relax and get immersed in the ambiance of the restaurant. Classical, gastronomic, French, eclectic. Well, the secret to a great steak is firstly, buying great meat. But if you wish to use gnaw as a seasoning, then the beauty of it is the versatility of it. Because salt can be very aggressive. It can wash off in the pan. The beauty of paste, wherever you massage it, wherever you spread it, it stays. So you have a steak which is evenly seasoned. Secondly, it draws out the flavor of the meat. Thirdly, in my opinion, it makes it that little bit more juicy, which is key to a steak. And we do respect the classics. But you know, in the modern world we live, you have to be a maverick. You have to think outside the box. You have to be clever. And Norm is incredibly versatile. The food in Britain today is better than it's ever been in its entire history. It really is. You've got restaurants which are serving food at 20 pounds for three courses. You've got restaurants very fine serving food for 70 quid. You can't teach anyone how to cook. All you can do is show them. It's up to them whether they want to teach themselves. Let's be honest. Painting by numbers is one thing. Cooking by them is something else. A lot of people, they just cook by numbers. It's just a simple recipe. As I've always said in my life, cooking is not a recipe. It's a philosophy, unless it's pastry, and then it's chemistry. I turned my dream into reality, but sometimes reality is not what you think it is. Winning three stars was the most exciting journey of my life. Then the day comes where you're king of your world and people's views of you now change because you're up there. Uh, I'm not into dining in fine restaurants anymore. Once in a while is enough for me. I haven't got the patience. I'm not into 18 courses, 20 courses, 16 courses of small portions on small plates, constantly being interrupted. Lukewarm food, it's like going to a very posh canopy party. It's not pleasurable. And so, I sat down and I thought to myself, what are my options? My first option was to continue working six days a week, between 80 and 100 hours a week. My second option, live a lie. Pretend I cook when I don't cook. My third option was to pluck up the courage from within, to give back my stars, to abdicate from my position, to accept that tomorrow, but what do I have? I have an opportunity. A recipe is a guideline, that's all it is. If I think of all the great chefs I've met over the years, the one thing they have in common is that they cook food they like to eat. Winning three stars is the most exciting journey of any young chef's life, it really is. Defending stars is the most boring job on earth, and that's why three star chefs tend to stray from their kitchens. Because defending a reputation is boring. When I was a young man, Michelin were without question the most powerful guide. Every chef dreamt of winning a star, not three stars, because Michelin was so careful in how they gave them away. Some people still put value on Michelin. My opinion of Michelin is limited. Because let's not forget, People who win three stars, two stars, or one star, they're being judged by people who have less knowledge than themselves. So what's it worth? Marco, some people have criticised you for being a brand ambassador for Nor and for Bernard Matthews, saying that you've sold yourself out as a chef. What would you say to those people? Well, firstly, I'm allowed to make a living. I have a family. I have my children. I have to create security for them, and I have to feed them. You cannot criticize a man for going to work. You really cannot. And do you know something? I enjoy working with Noor. I enjoy working with Bernard Matthews. I like sharing my knowledge. 
because by working with companies like Knorr and Bernard Matthews, it allows me to stand onto a bigger stage and to share my knowledge and to enrich people's lives. That's what's important for me. Mission stars, they're my past. Today, enriching people's life, whether it's opening a pub and selling very good food at a price point, or showing people the versatility of stock cubes. That's where I get my pleasure, making people happy.